Welcome to this video tutorial explaining all new functions found in the 1.10 firmware update for the TB3. This upgrade gives you several new functions for live and studio use, including a more advanced MIDI implementation. Update procedure. Hold the keyboard and pattern select buttons and turn the power on. Connect the TB3 to your computer via USB. Open the TB3 drive that shows up in your computer. Copy the TB3 underscore update bin update file into the TB3 drive's root directory. Disconnect the USB cable. Press the lit XY play button. When all buttons blink, turn the power off and on again. The update is now ready to be used. Firmware 1.10 New Functions Number 1. Data Backup Restore You can now backup and restore your patterns individually via the USB. Hold the Play Stop button and turn on the power. Connect the computer to the TB3 via USB. Open the TB3 drive that shows up in your computer. To backup your patterns, Copy the TB3 pattern files in the backup directory to your computer. They are named TB3 underscore PTN, followed by their respective numbers. Bank 1, numbers 1 to 8 are numbered 1 to 8. Bank 2, 1 to 8 are named 9 to 16, and so on. To restore your patterns, copy your TB3 pattern files to the restore directory on your TB3 drive. Eject the TB3 USB drive. Disconnect the USB cable. Power off and on again. Number two, tuning. You now have the possibility to tune your TB3 within the same range as the TB303. The range is minus seven to seven semitones in steps of 10 cents. Make sure you're not in any recording mode. Hold the envelope modulation button while touching the pad. The display will show the current tuning. Number three, master tune. You can now set the TB3's master tuning in steps of one hertz. Hold the scatter button and turn on the power. Hold the envelope modulation button and turn the value dial. The current setting is shown in the display. Press the start stop button and save your setting. Number four, user bank. There is now a user bank for storing up to 15 of your favorite sounds. Stop the sequencer. Select your sound. Hold the envelope modulation button and turn the value dial to your desired user slot. Press the start stop button to save your setting. 5. Assign specific sounds to certain patterns. You can choose to assign specific sounds to certain patterns. You can also combine this function with having patterns that are free of assignments. Select your pattern. Press the step record or real time record button. Hold the envelope modulation button and turn the value dial to the sound you want assigned to your current pattern. If you select blank to the far left, the pattern will be free of sound assignment. 6. Lock pattern data. You can now lock individual pattern data. This means that you can edit the pattern, but once the pattern is reloaded, the old data will return. Make sure you're not in any recording mode. Hold the pattern select button and turn the value dial. The display shows off, unlocked, or lock is locked. 7. Transpose pattern. You can now transpose a pattern. Any note that gets transposed above or below the allowed note range will end up as the lowest or highest C. Select the pattern you want to transpose. Press the step record or real time record button. Hold the keyboard button and turn the value dial. 
8. MIDI implementation of slide and accent by control change. You can now alternatively control slide and accent via control change messages. Control change 102 is slide and 103 is accent. 9. Scatter controllable via MIDI. You can now control the scatter switch, type and depth via MIDI. This function requires the internal clock to be running. CC hash 68 equals scatter type. CC hash 69 equals scatter depth. When this controller is on value 0, the scatter is off. 10. MIDI local on off and MIDI controller mode. Several local modes have been included for desired studio or live use. Apart from the standard local on and off settings, we also now have a MIDI controller mode, which lets you send MIDI notes and the control changes from the TB3 without using the internal sound engine for any MIDI messages coming in. Stop the sequencer. Hold the scatter button and turn the value dial. Choose between on, off and controller. 11. MIDI channel off. You can now set the TB3's MIDI channel to off. This means that it will not receive any MIDI data at all. 12. Extended sequencer note range. The internal sequencer can now sequence all notes between C0 and C6. Thirteen. Extended real-time transpose range. The note range of the real-time transpose function now ranges from minus two to three octaves. Fourteen. Extended note range of external MIDI message. The TB3 can now play notes between C0 and C8 from an external MIDI source. 15. Real-time recording by external MIDI message. You can now use the TB3's real-time record mode with an external MIDI source. Sixteen. Demo mode. The TB3 now has demo mode. This means the TB3's panel will start a flashing pattern after a specified number of minutes. Hold the scatter button and turn on the power. Hold the tempo button and turn the value dial. This sets the number of minutes to demo mode. Press the start stop button to save your setting.